Hello and welcome to Bear Necessities. My name is Bear and today we're going to be going over the fourth dungeon in the Desert of Flame series with Ancient's Table. Ancient's Table is one of the most unique zones to actually get into because it's not always open. Luckily on Varsoon people run this a lot so it's usually pretty easily entered but if you're playing in off hours you may have to open the zone yourself. I'll explain everything in a second. First, let's just talk about how you get there. So coming from the south pillar of flames entrance, you'll actually see a cyclops immediately to your right. You will keep the wall on your left until you pass a torch. Immediately after that torch, there's going to be a bridge that you'll cross to, into the table of eyes area. And in the middle, you'll see the seer stone. If you run over to the door behind the seer stone, you'll either see a door knocker or you won't. The ancient table is open, just click the knocker and everyone in your group will be zoned in. If it's not, then that means the ancient's table is closed. So gather up your group and fight up to the entrance. Clear out the cyclops in the area around the seer stone. Usually I just clear out everything as there's a bit of downtime between spawns and you can utilize this time to get some lore and legend cyclops done. After about three spawns around the seer stone, you will receive a global message saying the door to the ancient's table has been opened. At this point, you can click on the knocker and zone into the ancient's table. Ancient's table is a very small zone with very high level mobs ranging from level 59 to 63. There's really only one named in the zone, but he drops amazing loot. And if you're playing during double loot, which is going on right now, run this zone a lot for some really nice items. Ancient's Table is primarily filled with lots of spiders. From a lore perspective, it harkens back to the original EverQuest, actually. In South Row and EverQuest 1, you cleared out mobs, specifically spiders. Correct me if I'm wrong here in the comments. And there is a specific spider that's actually the placeholder for the Ancient Cyclops. So that's exactly what we're doing here, except for the camp is way less toxic and always guaranteed. In terms of clearing this zone, there's two areas similar to Scornfeather's Roost, the front and the back area. We will want to clear out the entire front area of all of the tarantulas. There are sometimes some name spiders littered around in here, but unfortunately they don't drop any extra loot and they need to be killed to progress through the zone. There's also some non-KOS merchants on the left side too that you can kill for extra XP if you want but they drop no loot and don't need to be killed. After you kill the last spider, make sure you don't wander too far around uh, because the back area is about to fully repop with a ton of spiders. So just sit there and wait and you'll eventually see that large respawn of brand new spider spawn in the back area only. We will now need to clear all of them out as well. When you clear out all the spiders in the back, there will also be a little bit of downtime again and the ancient cyclops will just randomly spawn somewhere in the zone. So keep an eye out and alert your group when and where he pops and you can go over and kill the AC. Hopefully you'll get your ring of ancient power and eventually your J boots. Just messing around, but he really does drop good gear. He often drops masters and there's also some best in slot gear that he actually drops. So good luck. I hope you enjoyed this guide on Agent's Table, and if you want to support the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe, pressing the notification bell for alerts when new content is available. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you later.